Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. You guys had asked for a brow tutorial. Now recently I received the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow Pencil. I used it in my last tutorial with the colorful look. I wasn't happy with that ashiness in this uh, this color. It's like an ashy brown. My eyebrows are just too dark in my opinion. It's like the same shade as my hair. So this made my eyebrows look ashy. Although the makeup look, in my opinion, was very pretty, I still noticed my brows, and that was driving me crazy. I put up pictures and everything, but I still was bothered about my brows. So I just went back to my trusty pencil from Black Up. This is actually the uh, Black Up Cosmetics waterproof eyeliner for your bottom lash line, or you can use it as a, well, you can use it as anything you use a pencil for, but it's waterproof, it doesn't move, I really like it. I'll leave the price and the link down below for it, but that's what I've been reaching for lately. So for anyone who likes to use pencils, this would be a great tutorial for you. Okay, the first thing that I do is put on my lotion. Of course, my face is clean. So I use my Cetaphil lotion. It's a daily advanced lotion and a bottle like this. You guys have seen it in some of my videos. And I just go over my whole face. Even though I'm oily, I always still apply a lotion. The next thing that I like to do is apply a primer. I feel like my eyebrows stay on a little longer with primer. Now it's just habit because this particular pencil is waterproof, but I still like to put on my primer. My eyebrows don't move. I can go to sleep and wake up and still have perfect brows with this stuff. So this is just Milani. You can use any one you choose. And notice I used that primer all through the brows. I went in the opposite direction. I made sure that got into my brows. Now I feel a little bit guilty doing this, but the Makeup Forever pencil does have a nice spoolie on the end, little brush. And I used that to brush up my brows. I do have other spoolies, but it was right here on the desk. So I'm using that to brush them in place. And if you're a person that's having problems uh, figuring out where to start filling in your brows and all that stuff, the best thing to do is let someone arch them. I mean, even if you barely have any brow, let somebody tape them up for you. You know how the guys say they want to tape up? They want to see that line up. That's what you want for your brows. It gives you a little bit of an idea where to start, okay? So go somewhere, let a professional do it. Don't try it on yourself if you never did it before. You know, go to someone, let them do it. All right, next, uh, what I do is rest my elbow on a table or something if I need to. And I usually just look for where my hair starts and draw a line just very lightly because my brows have grown out so much, I don't need to press hard. I also make sure my pencil is sharpened. So that's the bottom of the brow, and you see that little line going across there? This one is kinda everywhere, but this one seems to be lining up now. And then I do it across the top, just following my hair. So when your top and your bottom are lined up and you can see where your line is and everything, you can start filling in little, you know, patches within the brow. I don't have much here in the beginning of the brow, but I do see some little tiny little ball spots and I'll bring the pencil through them a bit. I also noticed that this brow is much thicker than that brow so that's going to be cleaned up with concealer later right now we just want to line everything up try our best to make this brow match that one i used to draw a line when i had no brows i used to draw a line from the bottom of this brow across to that brow that helped me 
I'm going to leave all of my brow tutorials down below because I feel like it will help somebody. If you don't have much brow, I went from very, very thin brows to now, you know, semi thick brows. So I believe some of those will help you. Those of you with very thin brows, I was there. So I will leave all of those links below. I'm just repeating the steps from the other brow. Okay, so one thing to remember too, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. I say that in every eyebrow tutorial. They are not going to be perfect. Even after you do the concealer, one is going to be a little higher, your arch is going to be a little further back or whatever. The whole deal is to get them as close as possible. So don't feel bad if they look a little off. You possibly could tell, but other people won't. Next, we're going to use our concealer. Mine of choice is the, uh, this is LA Girl Pro Concealer. I always use Toast. And I'm going to use that to clean up the brows and shape them and make them pretty. My all-time favorite brush to use for my brows, child, is all messed up now. The little bristles are hanging out all over the place, but I love this brush. You see that angle? I love it because it gets right there in the hook of your brow. So like I said, you'll find a brush that you truly love and nobody will be able to tell you anything about that brush, believe me. Okay, so I put a little bit of concealer. I usually use the back of my hand. Rest your arm on a desk or something and just take your time. Find where your hair begins. You see the little holes for the hair follicles and you'll start there and just follow them around. Now we're going to do the top of the brow, and that's a little harder to do. Some people don't do it because they like the top of the brow to look very natural. They don't want to have to blend concealer. But if I want a very beat brow, I go across the top. And you see there, I feel like I made my arch there a little bit too sharp, so I'm going to round it off. And I know my lighting is a little bright on this side of my face, so I'm using my hand so you guys can see. Okay. And the trend used to be to kind of um, fade the beginning of the brow, but I see that's kind of fell off. Nobody's really doing that anymore. I kind of like the fade. But what I do is use my spoolie and just brush the beginning of the brow. Just 
Just kind of make everything fall in place, blur it out, make it look a little natural again. So I'm going to repeat the same step over here and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so there are your completed brows. Like I said, I know my lighting is a little shiny on one side, kind of looks undone, but it is done. I'm going to try to get some pictures for you guys, but that's how I do them. Okay, so it takes lots of patience. It takes lots of practice. Do not give up. You can get it. If I got it, you can get it. I had no, uh, you know, lessons as far as makeup or anything is concerned. YouTube taught me. So just practice and you can get it. All right. Cyber kisses. And see you in the next video. Check the description box. Bye.